We're going to go for a ride on the bike. It's nice and hot out today here at Sunshine Key RV Resort, Thousand Trails, and the Florida Keys. Yeah, we'll go for a ride. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. Gorgeous, isn't it? They usually go quite a ways out walking to find these. You got them all walking? Yeah, but quite a ways out, over a quarter mile. Wow, well, that's pretty shallow. Do you yeah. go out in over here by the beach? Yep. Yeah, it's not that deep over there, but... No, you can go out quite a ways. But a lot of people look in the shallower water and you aren't going to find anything. Yeah. Uh, uh. Sit. Stay. Good girl. Hey everybody. Today I'm walking to the pool. Um, this is my third day here and I really haven't done much of anything except for relax, which is a good thing because, you know, when you're traveling or when you're parked at a place that's not got hook, you know, it doesn't have hook up or anything like that, things can get exhausting. So, and then you're moving around from one spot to the next every two days, trying to find a place to boondock. <laughs> so I decided to just relax and enjoy Florida and these great resorts that I'm in. So here's the basketball court. And then there's, you know, volleyball, sand court, picnic tables. There's a swing play area for the kids. And it's really nice. Um, like I said, I am going to the pool. It's very warm today, very warm today. And, um, Oh, I almost thought I forgot my water, but I didn't. So that's where I'm headed. <sighs> Let's see, they got all kinds of stuff on this totem pole here with directions. Do you know the way to San Jose? Do you know the way to Sunshine Key? I've been away so long. Yeah. I have, it's been over a year since I've been here, I think. Yeah, because last year it was at Fiesta Key and I didn't get in this park. But, so I'm gonna go to the pool. They have a nice pool here. It's a smaller than the one at Fiesta Key, but it's still a nice pool. That's where I'm going. Oh, and they got pickleball courts and tennis courts also.
Vacation hair, don't care. Just got a cover up over the bathing suit. <laughs> vacation, every day's a vacation when you're a nomad in your RV. Florida Keys. Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. Good day, sunshine. We are sitting out at my trusty camps, at my little campsite, and here's my little supervisor here. She's got to be on my lap, right? As I'm trying to open my new gadget that I got from Toptus. I don't know if I pronounce it right, but that's what I call it, top test. Oh, I hear something like a big plane or something. Sure, there is a plane up there, but that can't be the one that's making the noise. Must be something on the interstate. They are putting in a cell tower right there. Yep, that's what they told me it is, a cell tower right there. It doesn't belong to the park. These other ones here, these little ones here belong to the park. But I've got Mr. Spock turned on. I do have, even though I have a power hookup, I still have my solar panels attached to my refrigerator in my van. Yeah. Keeping my batteries charged. And the refrigerator on. Okay, let's see what we got here. This is a new unit. And um, it's the PT-330 leak detector. Let's see what this one looks like. It has a user manual. Oh, that looks kind of neat. handed oh and batteries and it looks like a little pouch for it yep a little pouch for it well I'll be right back let's put it together well, you unscrew the little screw here, you get the bat, put the, take this thing off the back, and then you put the batteries in. So, like I said, I'm sitting outside. And normally I do this in my lap, but my dog is hogging my lap right now. Isn't she a pistol? back on. Put the little screw in the hole. Use my, I'm good aren't I, using my elbow to hold it in place. That's what happens when you, when you bottle feed your kid and you're holding the bottle in their hand, in your hand, feeding them and holding them and cooking at the same time or doing something else at the same time. Multitasking. Okay, so now that's in. According to the directions. In the book. And then it says, remove the protection cover before using the detector in an area where combustible gas is known not to, known not to be present, press the power button for more than one second. The detector will beep and start a 30 second calibration process. Once it stops, uh, the indicator bar will stop cycling. The, it will beep twice. Okay. There it is. So it says, Turn the on button on. There it 
goes the 30 second cycle. I didn't take the cellophane off, but you just kind of lift this up and take it off. Beep, beep, all done. Okay. It's ready to take a measurement. It's recommended that you use a lighter or stove gas to test the effectiveness of the detector. Oh, have the gas, though, so they want you to have the gas be released, but no flame. Okay. So I don't know how much different this is than the other one that they sent me. I know there was gas in the air. Gas is in the air. Can you smell it, everyone? No. Okay, it's on high sensitivity. Now I could put it on a lower sensitivity, but I have it on high sensitivity. There, now it's shown it's on high. Okay, so maybe it is that I didn't, see, it's telling you that there's something wrong. Okay. I must have still had it on low. It's sensing it at medium. Sensing it at high. But it is not sense it's low, so it's not sensing it at low. There, it's a high. It's turned off, by the way, folks. It's turned off. But it did take a minute. It took a while. I will provide you a link for your discount if you choose to buy the Top Test new gas leak detector. Good morning, RV Rebel Watchers and YouTubers from me and Danny. Yes, it is our last day here. Oh, get down, babe. Our last day at Sunshine Key. So I'm going to get up and take Danny out. And I think I'm going to make keto pancakes for breakfast. Sounds like a plan. Then we have to clean up. Yeah, it's time to go. We don't want to go, but we got to go. And we'll be heading back up to the mainland. And, um, yeah. It's a beautiful day in the Keys. We hate to have to leave. But sometimes you got to say goodbye to the islands. Hope you'll continue to travel with Have us. Have a great day and stay tuned for, for our, our next, next video. video.